Hello students, welcome to e-learning. In this, we are going to learn lecture number 12.1, continuation of problems on stress strain. This is part 2 video. So in this video, we are going to come across how to find out combining, uh, combining stress strain and Young's modulus. Okay, problems on stress strain and Young's modulus. So I have taken one problem here. A string 4 mm in diameter has a original length of 2 meters. Okay. There is a string or you can say or you can say wire okay of diameter 4 mm and length of 2 meter. That string is pulled by a force of 200 newton. If the final length of the spring is 2.02 meter. They have asked to determine stress, strain and Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity of that particular string. Okay. So, what is known here from the question? We know, we get, uh, we got to know diameter of the string is 4 mm. So, it is written in meters as 0 0.004. Radius of that particular string is 2 mm, 0 0.002 meters. Then, then coming across area. So, when you come across diameter or radius, you have to find out area first. Okay. Or you can say cross sectional dimensions if you get. First and foremost thing, you have to calculate the cross sectional area. So, area is given by pi r square. You can also use pi by 4 into d square. Okay. So, pi r square. So, pi value is 3.14. Radius value is 0 0.002 meter. So, it is squared. So, the area remains as 0.00001256 meters square. So, the, it can be written as 12.56 into 10 raise to minus 6 meters is meter square. Okay. So, why it is 10 raise to minus 6? Because if you, they have given decimals, uh, decimal point after 12, right? Here, here is the decimal point. So, before that decimal point, how many zeros are there? So, how many digits are there? So, you may come across from this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, at the 6th point, they have given 10 raised to, uh, you know, 6 meter square area. So, you can come across force. Force is given as 200 Newton. Original length of the spring or you can say string. Actually, it is it should be a string, okay? Uh, original length of string is L naught 2 meters. Change in length is observed as 2.02. .02, okay. So that change in length, if the final length they have said, right? So if the final length of the spring is 2.02 .02 meters after pulling. So exactly what is the change happened? Change taken place in the original length. So the final length is observed as 2.02 .02 and the minus 2. This 2 is nothing but the original length. When you deduct original length from final length, you will get how much extension it has, uh, you know, got. So it is 0 0.02. How much extension is 0 0.02 meters? Okay. So next we will come across uh, what we want to find. So they have asked to find or determine stress strain and Young's modulus. So here I have written. So stress strain and Young's modulus. So, stress is given by force by area, correct? So, ratio we know F by A, load by area, load by per unit area is nothing but uh, stress. So, put the values of force, force is put the values of all these terms. So, load is given or force is given by 200 Newton and the area we have found out it as 12.56 into 10 raise to 6 minus 6 meter square. So, the answer of the stress. Uh, stress developed in that particular string by applying a pull of force of 200 Newton is 15.92 into 10 raise to 6 Newton per meter square. Okay. So, if you apply 200 Newton load on that particular 4 mm diameter string, it will develop a stress of this much value that is 15.92 into 10 raise to 6 Newton per meter square. Now, we will come across strain. So, change in length to the original length. We have learned this in the previous video also as well as in the introduction class. 
So the change in length that is delta L. So we have found out that delta L is 0 0.02, right? And the original length is given by two meters here. So strain can be found out by uh, putting the values in the calculator 0 0.02 meter divided by two. You will come across the answer as 0 0.01. Okay. So strain is observed as 0 0.01. It is unitless because numerator and denominator has the same unit meter and meter it cancels so strain doesn't have any unit so coming across Engs modulus now so this, what is this Engs modulus we have learned in the stress strain curve video right what is uh, elasticity modulus so the, it is also set as Engs modulus because uh, the person who has developed this uh, relation between stress and strain has given his own name as Engs modulus Okay, Yang is his name and Engs modulus. Actually, it is elasticity modulus. Okay, so now stress by strain. So relation, this Engs modulus is given by capital E. Okay, this strain is given by small letter E. So stress by strain. So put the values of stress. Stress is given by 15.92 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square, and strain is given by 0 0.01. So this Engs modulus E. Capital letter E is nothing but 1592 into 10 raised to 6 Newton per meter square. Okay, so this is the combination of uh, combina this problem is combination of stress and strain giving us Engs modulus. Okay, very straightforward question it was. Find out stress and strain, and stress divided by strain will give you Engs modulus, right? So this is how solve the same problem slowly. Uh, uh, slowly in the calculators and you will get to know the concepts how it is step by step solved in the examination so for upcoming videos again relate to uh, more number of problems in upcoming videos subscribe the channel diploma in civil engineering Pratik Lohar so uh, stay tuned for the next video thank you so much